the FAA announcement outlining the return of the Boeing 737 MAX aircraft comes at a time when many airplanes are grounded and demand for air travel is still weak. But this is good news for airlines with the MAX in their fleet, those with uncancelled orders for the MAX and for the industry in general. Even though this airplane had an ill-fated start that killed 350 people in two separate but related crashes involving the Lioner and Ethiopian 737 MAX. The reason it was selling well prior to these accidents will make it a popular airplane for many years into the future. While wide-body aircraft like the iconic Boeing 747 are now the discontinued Airbus A380 make for the best photos and stories. It is the 120-190 seat narrow-body aircraft that dominate global aviation. The Boeing 737 and its multiple models and configurations along with the Airbus A320 family make up over a quarter of all commercial airplanes on the planet. This is because the size category fits a plurality of the air markets on the planet. More people fly flights in the 2 to 4 hour range than fly across the globe. And they do it much more often too. The 737 MAX and the A320neo represent the current most advanced state of available engineering in this size category. Of the oldest airplanes that will be retired in the next 10 years, most are also in this size category and so the MAX meets the size need that the world demands for aircraft. However, Boeing isn't shying away from the MAX brand of its next generation 737. Even after many obstacles on their way to take the disguise, comment below how much do you think this aircraft is going to make its place in the market. As always, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. This is the end of today's video, until next time.